Hi, y'all. Casey here for a new episode of Today I Learned. You might think this episode is hogwash, but you're gonna want to stick around so you can put this one in your mental piggy bank. Did you know that in the 1970s, pigs were used to study alcoholism in humans because they have similar respiratory and cardiovascular systems to ours? The pigs in this study were given access to excessive amounts of alcohol three times a day, and they took advantage of it immediately. They all drank until they were drunk and did this every time they were given access to booze with one exception. Pigs, like many other animals, have a social hierarchy. Turns out, the pigs near the top of the pecking order, but not the top hog, used the dominant pig's drunkenness as a chance to take his spot. So the pigs who were second or third in the pecking order would sober up and take his spot. Once the previous top hog realized that he'd lost his throne, he'd sober up and take it back, and the cycle continued. The pigs lower in the social order, however, never saw a reason to sober up, as they'd never have a chance to be the boss hog. So they always got drunk and always drank the most heavily. A farmer in North Carolina discovered that if pigs who have regular access to alcohol are cut off, they become irritable and do everything they can to try to access their source of alcohol. They also, when not regulated, drink until they pass out and have no sense of when they've had enough. Pigs aren't the only animals who have drunken tails. Once, an elk in Sweden ate too many fermented apples and got stuck in a tree. In another incident, a wild boar managed to drink three six-packs of beer and started fighting with a cow. These animals, unlike humans and pigs, however, just happened upon these circumstances and don't actually seek alcohol to get drunk. If this episode of Today I Learned cures what ails ya, make sure you smash that like button and subscribe. Join me next time to learn why, as a short person, I should be a morning person. I'm not, but I should be. Don't forget to stand up and use your voice and I will see you heathens later. Bye, y'all.